The talk of COVID-19 vaccines being introduced to Grenadians continues to plague social media platforms and religious houses. As a means of bringing much-needed clarity on this subject matter, Friends of the Earth Grenada held a virtual public consultation with Dr. Velva Boles of Louisiana, USA to get her expertise on COVID-19 and its newly developed vaccines. She explains that there are just about 30 COVID-19 vaccines around the world, some of which have been approved by WHO. According to her, while these vaccines can provide a level of protection from the virus, there are some things citizens need to be cautious of. As a physician, you know there are people with compromised immune systems. And if you have a compromised immune system, by definition, your ability to benefit from the vaccine is less. And not only that, they, there's been recent uh, what they call um, warnings that if you have a known case of allergy, if you have asthma, if you have hay fever, if you have an allergy to fish or shellfish, uh, and they went on and on, if you have lupus, if you have any known autoimmune diseases, they're saying, tell your doctor and do not take the vaccine unless they recommend you to do so. Dr. Boles believes that six months is not enough to create and distribute a vaccine to the world population. She explains that individuals should be aware of the underlying medical issues and allergies to some medicines and advises people to be cautious of some of the possible side effects of the vaccines. Here. If you look at the situation and say it is best for me because then I salute you. If you say I'm doing it because someone made me do it or someone told me to do it, here's my problem with that. If things do not go according to plan, who gets to pick up the pieces? And if two years from now, the worst possible scenario develops, you get bell palsy because they've indicated that's a possibility and it doesn't go away. Who will come to your rescue? Will your family receive reparation or will they simply say, oops, sorry, that wasn't expected. The doctor highlights the importance of face masks and hand washing in countries like Grenada. It is with the idea that once the world has gotten some herd immunity, whether it's by vaccine or infection, then there's going to be the re, uh, trying to reinstitute what was known pre-COVID-19. That means people will be coming to your country for a summer vacation or a spring break or whatever, and they can be bringing with them a great threat to your vicinity. That you don't have it on the island right now is because much of the world is shut down. And if you know that you have neighboring islands or countries that are starting to show some infectivity, then by all means, you need to wear masks. By all means, you need to be doing the hand sanitation because prevention is what you're working at right now. Dr. Velva Bolas practiced medicine and have owned primary care clinics for over 32 years in Louisiana with an additional 25 years of clinical experience with a background in internal medicine and emergency medicines and three years of experience as a medical investigator at the Diplomat American Board of Forensic Medicine. For GBN News, I am Rena Peh reporting.